is the um, outer space, the galaxies, the universe, because I really like and I get fascinated about the notion of things are happening, there's a creation process, and then again, it's such a chaotic uh, uh, environment, we don't know much about it, there is a mystery around it. So when I came to Philadelphia to create a work, I had this feeling that I would create something not specifically on that, but around that, around the energy that can uh, uh, somehow um, provide me to craft a work. It's in a very short period of time, almost three weeks. Uh, that creates a certain kind of emergency. It creates a certain kind of um, uh, standby, standby situation for me. I need to be really on top of my game and that uh, doesn't leave the dancers, let's say, be comfortable and kind of create a certain kind of, um, of uh, not, not, not an emergency, but a certain kind of like um, vivacity. We are alerted, we are awake, and I think that's kind of interesting. Of course, I have designers coming in like uh, my usual uh, collaborators in this creation from Greece as well, uh, Mr. Sofronio and Mr. Birbilis, and I have to say as well the music is a, it's a created for, for, for the work. So there is a group of people like who keep on working almost like for 15 years now, and we know each other, so literally, even if I have intuitions and ideas that I can lead them and make them come into a vision, then very fast they take initiation, they propose things, and there's a very understanding and mutual uh, um, discussion about what's going to be the final product. But of course, most of things start with uh, with the original idea that I have a bit in my mind, in my in my imagination, in my heart, it, it can be an emotion as well. Kind of um, an um, active process on them. I don't want them to sit comfortably and I will feed them specifically what I had in mind because as well it's an abstract work, but I want to give them hints. I want to give them possibilities for them to work their way in, in the lecture of the work.